Good morning, good afternoon, and evening to all. It's my pleasure to be here today. We're going to talk about hepatitis elimination, where we are today, and on the importance of hepatitis B prevention of other child transmission. I'm going to bring you some uh, snippets on the 2020 new WHO guidelines for the use of antiviral prophylaxis in pregnant women for prevention of mother to child transmission, and we and we'll conclude on some uh, implementation considerations. Of the 325 million people living with hepatitis B and hepatitis C globally, 80% live in Asia and African regions. Specifically, um, on hepatitis B, the burden is substantial as well, and we have almost a million of people die of cirrhosis in tobacco cellular carcinoma. Here is a little reminder why preventing hepatitis B mother to child transmission is important. Infection during infancy and early childhood are particularly likely to lead to chronic infection. And thus, we see that vaccination works. In uh, vaccination, has had successes in preventing new uh, hepatitis B infection among children under five years of age. So globally, in, in 14,000, the prevalence was about 5%. And uh, in 2017, global prevalence of overall was uh, less than 1%. The, the global hepatitis control goals um, now have more than about uh, two decades of experience. We know vaccination works, and we have seen countries reach the target of uh, under 1% uh, hepatitis B service antigen among children under five. And uh, in the Western Pacific region, 21 countries have already reached this target ahead of time. Uh, and they have a very high coverage of vaccines and uh, coverage of animal dose. But to get to elimination of hepatitis B, this is defined as a 0.1% hepatitis B surface antigen in children under five years of age by 2030. And to get to this target, we will need additional interventions to prevent mother to child transmission. Let's look at the Western Pacific region, which is leading in the implementation of hepatitis B the elimination of our mother to child transmission. The Western Pacific region has a framework on triple elimination of mother to child transmission of HIV, syphilis, and hepatitis B for the next decade. In the Western Pacific region, 57% um, of the countries are already conducting triple antimodal testing for HIV syphilis and hepatitis B. And 30% of the countries provide antiviral prophylaxis to eligible but in women with chronic hepatitis B. And 24% are, are conducting infant case management as well, including post vaccination surveillance and testing. The Western Pacific region boasts of a very high timing growth dose at 84% and a completion rate of uh, two vaccines for hepatitis B of uh, more than 95%. So this is tremendous uh, learning and tremendous success. So broadly, WHO has updated guidelines. Uh, the latest updated guidelines dates from December last year, where WHO recommends all pregnant women should be tested for HIV, syphilis, and hepatitis B at least once and as early as possible. And this July, during World Hepatitis Day, WHO released the first ever global guidelines on prevention of mother to child transmission of hepatitis B and guidelines on antiviral use in pregnancy. Now in these guidelines, WHO recommends that pregnant women testing positive for hepatitis B infection with a uh, hepatitis B viral load of more than 200,000 international units per year received the prophylaxis from the 2018 pregnancy until at 
its birth. In addition, there is a recommendation that if there are settings where DNA is not available, hepatitis B antigen testing can be used as an alternative. Now let's let's look at why uh, antiviral therapy during pregnancy for the prevention of uh, mother-to-child transmission of this virus. WHO recommends administration of antivirals to all newborns, but we note that studies uh, observe that 20 to 30 percent of high viral load mothers infect their infants despite the birth rates. And in high income countries, hepatitis B immunoglobulin, HB, is additionally administered to children of mothers at high risk of hepatitis B transmission. But even with both the birth bones and immunoglobulin, infants of mothers with very high viral load are still at risk. So a need was felt for additional intervention to antibiotic drugs. And this new, new evidence became available uh, and we're increasing inputs and requests from countries and regions. Here we see that among pregnant women, these, uh, these are the pregnant women which are the most at risk of transmitting hepatitis B to their babies, and they have high viral load or they are E antigen positive. A combined strategy of uh, immunoglobulin plus completion of C vaccines plus antiviral drugs can reduce transmission rates to less than this. WHO conducted systematic reviews and meta analysis and evaluations to look at several aspects of um, the efficacy and safety but also the performance of the hepatitis B antigen test. And what we also did was to look at the maternal viral load level that, uh, for the threshold after which the risk of transmission to the baby increases despite intervention. So let's look at this. A meta-analysis of 129 studies uh, of antiviral use indicated a protective effect regardless of the antiviral use to prevent mother to child transmission. Many of them come from China. Uh, and uh, tinophobia is the medicine of choice as it has a high barrier to resistance uh, and is recommended by the ritual as a treatment for hepatitis B infection. And we looked also at tinophobia safety, both in the infant and in mothers. And uh, we surmised that there was no harmful effects of xenophobia seen, whether this is risk of maternal hepatitis clear, bone mineral density in mother and child, and outcomes in infants. But uh, of course, we know that the data quality is limited. Nonetheless, we are very reassured that xenophobia uh, in both mother and child is safe. Now, the third question we asked was to look at the evaluations to answer some questions um, on the maternal hepatitis B antigen test, that whether it can be used to identify pregnant women with high DNA levels, and whether these tests can predict the risk of mother child transmission. So we looked at the sensitivity and specificity of the test. And the first is uh, the results of the studies to, to, to estimate the performance to identify women with high viral loads. We saw that the sensitivity was 88% and specificity of around 93%. And the hepatitis B antigen test uh, performance to predict the risk of mother to child transmission was about 99% sensitivity and about 56% specificity. So overall, um, the guidelines committee determined that uh, the hepatitis B antigen test can be used as an alternative uh, to the DNA viral load where there is, it is not available. 
So let's look at the systematic reviews that look at the viral load threshold after which the mother to child transmission risk increases despite hepatitis B uh, interventions such as the vaccines and the human immunoglobulin. And we have identified the viral load threshold to be uh, at a level of 200,000 international units per minute. After which the risk of immunoprophylaxis failure increases. Now let's look at the implementation side. We looked also at value of money and the modeling done by partners in Imperial College London. Uh, look at the different kinds of uh, prevention of mother to child transmission strategies, including antiviral drug use. And in many countries, uh, birth dose scale up has the largest incremental impact on new chronic infections uh, and neonatal infections. In other words, we must continue to invest in immunization programs to attain high and very high coverage. Immunization gives the best bang for the buck. And when we look at implementation considerations, uh, WHO had a survey among civil society, pregnant women and healthcare workers, and there's a whole range of different challenges in the implementation currently to uh, implement these guidelines. And it can range from the inadequate or limited integration of hepatitis B, HIV, and syphilis, prevention of mother to child transmission services, lack of capacity to test, lack of infrastructure to test and treat, availability, affordability, uh, cost of drugs, and also for test, and also for education of uh, women living with hepatitis infection and their families, as well as education for healthcare workers as well. So, but we are on a starting point today, and we can do much more to change this trajectory and find the solutions so that we can reach the true elimination of uh, hepatitis B within child transmission by 2030. Implementation of uh, the antiviral prophylaxis recommendation will vary by geographic regions because each region is different and certainly each country is extremely different. The implementation will depend on the hepatitis surface antigen prevalence in children and in the general population, service coverage of immunization, including timely birth dose, and the availability of affordable viral load assay, as well as the hepatitis B antigen test, and of course, access to uh, screening and drugs, as well as affordable drugs. So in high and density regions, such as Sub-Saharan Africa, with suboptimal coverage of infant hepatitis B vaccination. So increasing coverage of the timely hepatitis B vaccination is a priority. It would achieve the greatest impact at the lowest cost. In low and density countries, where there is already high coverage of infant vaccination and doctors, um, hepatitis B screening and peripartum tumor prophylaxis in those with high maternal viral load uh, would help further prevent a related transmission. So we, we do have opportunities, and despite the challenges, we believe that it can be done. Countries are already moving forward to looking into the how of looking at the synergies of triple elimination and getting to what's a true elimination of the children. We have opportunities and there is opportunities to integrate and synergize with the maternal child care programs. And uh, triple elimination is one of them. Now, in the Western Pacific region, there is a document, an operational document, which compiles the WHO guidance and recommendations on all aspects 
of elimination of mother-to-child transmission of hepatitis. This document provides operational guidance and includes guidance for helping workers on management of pregnant women. Uh, and it also summarizes some considerations for validation of elimination of HIV syphilis. And with this, uh, thank you for your attention. Uh, for anyone who would like to have a copy of this uh, document, please reach out to me or to look at the uh, WHO website on of the Western Pacific region. I would like to thank the uh, guidelines development group and uh, my colleagues in WHO as well as the many people who have done this work with us. Thank you very much. <laughs>